spreading of the revelations. An important request. This message concerns all who hear the pure word of God, and feel in their hearts who is speaking there. Please give to every proclamation which you have heard alike, so you help with the spreading God's word in the world wide web. Because we want to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ into the whole world and still many human souls into the truth, before the end. With every like you help that the announcements in the algorithm and read and heard. Thank you very much. Revelation 4885 from the 29th of April 1950 Spreading of the Revelations A certain time has been set for you to work for me and my kingdom, and you should use it to the best of your ability. What is given to you by me from above is only of value if it is spread, because I do not speak to one person alone but through one person to all who want to listen to me. My word must therefore be brought to them, and it requires the full use of your strength and your will. I have raised up seers and prophets so that mankind may be informed of the of the seriousness of the times and the coming last judgment. If they are believed, then people will also prepare themselves. Yet I cannot force anyone to believe, it is a completely free matter of will which is why nothing more can happen on my part than to reveal myself time and again to those who are able to receive my revelations through their will and their way of life. Hence these revelations will only be acknowledged by those who live a life of love in accordance with my will again. They will also know the value to be attributed to my revelations and will endeavor to spread them. Where there is a will there is also a way. Whatever is done to make myself and my working known to people in order to save their fellow human beings from eternal ruin, in order to inform them of the inevitable which humanity is approaching, I bless it, and every possibility can be used, the spreading can happen in many different ways, my blessing will always rest on it, because it is urgently necessary that people take notice of my word which is given to you purely and unadulterated from above. Not for nothing do I speak to people through my spirit, not for nothing do I choose suitable people for myself through whom I can work in the spirit. Their work should not be regarded and treated lukewarmly and indifferently, for it is always me to whom you humans then demonstrate your indifference. Anyone who has my word should pass it on, anyone who receives it from others should likewise work with it as soon as he has recognized it as my word, and anyone who does not recognize it does not belong to my own, yet he should think about it, for one day he will be asked to give an account of how he reacted to the gift of grace I brought to him. And thus every day shall be used, no day shall pass without spiritual work. This applies especially to those who want to participate in the redemption of erring souls. They will receive all support from me which enables the spreading of the pure, truth, and therefore everything that approaches my servants shall be considered in terms of work for me and my kingdom, for I bring my own together so that they can work unitedly for me in the last days before the end. Amen.